Ooh, I'm about to ambush. I'm about to ambush this truck. Or whatever it is. I hear something. It might be a tank. I'm gonna kill it. Oh my god, he squished me. Unbelievable. Hell Let Loose is a simulation of war, with a plethora of toys to conduct death. There's probably even more ways to die, like getting squished between a scout car and a house. But of all the toys in the World War II weapon set, from the gnarly Nebelwerfer to the infamous Stuka dive bomb, none are quite as sketchy and fun as the flamethrower. A rather sparse weapon on the real battlefield and in video games, both for different reasons. It's not easy to code flamethrowers into video games. You can't use a simple hit scan and ballistic system as the flames are slowly projected out and once the enemy's hitbox is actually hit you can't just coat in a little blood spurt and a body fall into the ground like every other weapon in the game where the target must be set ablaze then at least a few animations of him flailing about burning to death must be coded i know many of games have tried to implement flamethrowers and failed however when it's pulled off correctly it is glorious there's no better cqb weapon from the modern day weapon set backwards and that's because flames bounce off walls. That's right, simply send in a flamethrower point man, hold down the trigger, walk through the hallways. No peeking around corners risking getting your head blown off. So as you may have already grasped, the trusty flamethrower is coming to hell let loose. Now literally, that is all the news we've gotten. It was in the latest dev blog. Just the word flamethrowers, nothing more, nothing less. But what does that mean? Is this gonna be an all new class? Or is this something the engineer unlocks? Is every faction gonna be able to use it? Let's definitely get a discussion going down in the comments. Your general thoughts, wishes, and if you were speaking directly to the developer, what would you say? Personally, I think it should definitely be a limited class, like the sniper, but at the same time, part of me would probably be okay with seven toasty dudes per team, total scorched earth. <laughs> Before we move on, speaking of flamethrowers done right in video games, here on the channel we are currently giving away Postscriptum, Beyond the Wire, Easy Red 2, and its DLC Stalingrad, Steam Keys. We're giving away one a week for the next several months we got a handful of each and in the last update of beyond the wire they added the flamethrower and it just may be my favorite depiction of the weapon in any video game yet not only is it hella fun to use but the ambience of someone else using it around you is just an immersion multiplier you may have heard about this game the dead game sure it has a player base problem but it is an amazing game and at least we get to play with full servers every time they drop an update <laughs> if any criminally underrated game deserves our support as gamers it's beyond the wire but if you're new around here and want to enter in the giveaway it's super easy you just got to join us on discord it's linked below drop a comment like the video subscribe to the youtube channel all that but drop a comment say whatever you want to say but leave your discord name and number in the comment and that will be your ticket stub so good luck to everybody and moving right along to another awesome bit of news and really i think our first sneak peek at hell let loose's newest faction coming to the game the commonwealth aka the british and that last dev blog they dropped this little picture of the Bryn gun you know the commonwealth's faction light machine gun with the totally annoying magazines that stick above the weapon all in your face you can't see shite postscriptum players know what i'm talking about anyway the british or commonwealth faction is not coming with update 13 but the british faction and all of its new weapons vehicles and maps to go with it will be coming around the first update of the year 2020-23 however the rest of the stuff we talk about in this video will be coming with update 13 and update 13 will be the last update for hell let loose before years in we will be getting a new winter map the location or name of it is not disclosed yet all we know is we're getting a new winter map along with winter uniforms the devs released a dlc a while back called the silver vanguard dlc and in it they accidentally had displayed the m42 helmet with motorcycle goggles mounted on the helmet 
helmet well in the DLC that wasn't depicted so they had two choices either fix the picture of the advertisement or go ahead and actually add those motorcycle goggles to the helmet in the Silver Vanguard DLC within the game and that's what they did again if this game has anything going for it it's their incredible devs seemingly always making the better decision when it comes to making them uh, now my general thought about this is okay we got motorcycle goggles where's my BMW motorcycle with sidecar and MG42 strapped to it uh, that would be awesome now they didn't go into the detail but they did say there will be new cosmetics with this update new cosmetics flamethrowers a new winter map winter uniforms the DLC fix and then two more starting with what Eisenhower said was one of the things that won the war logistics credited the winning of the war to bulldozers to mow down plow down the hedgerows we kept getting ambushed from transports to get stuff around and jeeps that did all the back line the near to front line errand running and coming in update 13 is jeeps now i'm super excited about this anybody that plays post scriptum knows how viable a vehicle 10 is and you're able to just jump in a tent and get a flank popping off several minutes before than if you were on foot or at the same time used to fall back quickly something hell at loose needs next time you're getting steamrolled just jump in the jeep and fall your freaking squad back get an op up and defend anyway i'm super stoked on the jeeps now does that mean we're just getting jeeps now i'm only gonna go ahead and assume that we'll also get the kubel wagon for the germans but that's just hearsay finally wrapping up the update update 13 we're getting a new tank the soviet t-70 light tank t-70 became popular during world war ii as an inexpensive upgrade or improvement upon its predecessor the t-60 it's lightly armored and equipped with a 45 millimeter cannon and a 7.62 machine gun it'll take the same position as the allied stewart and the german lukes as the soviets go-to light tank here you see the new tank rolling on to the battlefield at kursk now only the most skilled crews will be able to take on other main battle tanks as you will literally have to circle them somehow stay away from their big main gun do your best to pin the rear of the enemy tank oh it can and will be done but for the most part this will be more of a scout or defensive unit maybe set back a little further on the battlefield really utilizing that coaxial machine gun laying down suppressive fire supporting infantry so you got to give it up to the hell let loose devs man another substantial update these guys never rest however my only gripe is they tend to cater to the casual audience a bit more but i mean i get it this is a business i get it i get it however one of my next videos down in the future i plan on going over exactly why you want stamina in hell at loose yeah i'm so crazy but just wait for the video maybe i can convince you without stamina there is no real advantage of being on defense and if we're aiming for realism i think it's something that eventually needs to be added however i am well aware of the huge standing against it however i mean these are the same guys chatting in forums that don't even have a microphone or don't care to talk in game Ugh, what a conundrum if there was one kind of sticky thing about hell let loose it would be us the players <laughs> all right sorry about going dark here at the end of the video don't forget to get in on the giveaways guys also while you're at the discord go to the submit your clip section i need some hell let loose videos from the viewers we're going to be doing episode four of the top 10 milsim moments i'd love to have hell let loose represented all the best indie milsims we cover from war of rights squad postscriptum beyond the wire anything indie i'll put in the top 10 how about that special shout out to my channel members my inspiration consider joining the ranks of the mill simp minions supporting the channel and click that blue join button below get exclusive videos exclusive discord and double the entry in every week's steam key giveaway get a huge leg up and win in 30 40 dollar games again of course thank you all for watching i'll see you boys in the next one y'all be good to each other